Good evening, pleasure to be here. I, I know some of you, some of you know me well, uh, and the guests that we haven't yet met, uh, I very much look forward to doing so. I'm just going to pick on some key strengths uh, of our EMBA. Um, the programme, as you know, probably, is delivered both in Antwerp in Belgium and here in Moscow. Kuhn, Michael and myself are the management team uh, for this programme in both locations, so we work very hard to keep the program as um, identical as possible, but with, with some necessary exceptions to take account of local conditions. The big marketing message which people approaching MBAs for the first time look at is rankings, and the big daddy of the uh, rankings is, of course, the Financial Times. Each year they publish a ranking of the top 100 programs in the world, and since 2012, so seven years, um, we have been in that top 100 um, EMBAs in the world. Our current positioning includes the fact that we are number 21 in the world for the international content of our program. So this really reflects a strategic decision that we want to develop people for careers that are international in nature. This doesn't mean that you have to go abroad to work. It can mean that you're working for a foreign company here. It can mean that you're dealing with foreign customers or foreign suppliers, um, but that you have a, a deep understanding of the impact of cultural differences in business. And this is proven by uh, being positioned independently by the Financial Times at, at number 21. We're number four in the world for corporate social responsibility, sustainability. This is a completely new element of the ranking that was introduced last year, and we were delighted to be so highly uh, rated in this regard. Average salary, um, and the average salary is measured three years after graduation. That's currently running at 160,000 euro. We've been number one in um, Belgium, our, our home, uh, for four years, 2012, 13, 14, and 15, and we've been the number one EM, international EMBA uh, for every year since we entered in, in 2012. So that's about ranking. Uh, ranking is a result of a methodology, and if the methodology suits your priorities, then that's good, it's relevant. If it doesn't, then you're looking at a series of measures that are not appropriate for you. A much more independent and much more scientific way of looking at the quality of MBA programs is through something called accreditations. Now, we all have, irrespective of what industry you work in, we all have quality certificates, um, international standards or, or whatever. For management education, it's called accreditation. And essentially, the process is very similar across the three bodies. A group of peers, so senior managers, senior directors, or indeed deans uh, from other business schools form a team, they come to the institution, and they examine in detail what the institution is doing in the case of the AACSB, the American one, the blue circle. Uh, or very specifically, they look at the MBA program, the quality of that education, the quality of the faculty, the quality of the students who join the program, the assessment regime, um, they are all looked at, and if, if they consider you are good enough, then you're invited to join their club. Uh, for both AMBA, AMBA, the one that specializes in MBAs, and AACSB, the, the American one, um, there are around uh, 250, 350 schools that have been approved. So it's, it's still quite a small group, considering there are some 6,000 MBA programs worldwide. In our case, the one on the bottom, NVAO, that one, allows us legally to award a master's degree at university level. Without that, of course, it would be a piece of paper. So that's a little bit on rankings and accreditations. One of the beautiful things about our program is the fact that it's both Antwerp and Moscow. So we are able to put together a group of people in Antwerp uh, from different cultures operating over there. And in Moscow, similarly, we're able to recruit from Central and Eastern Europe. People study subjects in, in the home campus, as it were, where it's not particularly important who else is in the class. In the sense that if you're studying financial accounting, there are rules, you have to learn the rules, you have to prove that you can repeat what those rules are and apply them and interpret them. But when it comes to subjects where culture has an impact, 
traditional EMBAs, EMBAs that are located in one place, even if th those people travel for a week to some other country, if they're not integrating, if they're not working with people from another culture, then they're missing out on really important um, tools that enable you to work in other cultural settings. And without those tools, international business becomes so much harder. So our, our honeycomb presentation indicates what happens. You spend time in the home campus, be it Moscow or Antwerp, and then three times during the program you come together um, before graduation. In fact, we're going to celebrate that tomorrow in Moscow and on Saturday in, in Antwerp. The first of those three coming together is in Guangzhou in China, uh, usually in December of the first year, in this year, December. The beauty of this one is we're going to study negotiation skills, the tools and techniques. Then we're going to study negotiation skills in a multicultural context because we have the Moscow and the Antwerp group. And we're also joined by Chinese, English language speaking, EMBA students. So we have teams composed of Chinese, Russians, Ukrainians, Germans, Belgians, French, Irish, Brazilians, and so on, competing, negotiating against similarly multicultural teams. So it's a lot of fun. We also, when we're in China, we look at the Chinese economy. Uh, we look at opportunities and, and problems associated with doing business there. Six months later, we do a very similar exercise. We go to the United States, we go to Boston, we go to Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. This school is famous for engineering, and part of the outcome of that is they're, they're very well respected uh, for supply chain management, logistics. And we are joined in America, the Moscow group, the Antwerp group, and a group of American executives engaged in logistics supply chain excellence. The third module uh, is just the Antwerp group and the Moscow group together. Now, by now, they've been together for three very intensive weeks. They are very close friends. That relationship, we hope and we've observed, uh, continues long after graduation. So this is slightly repeating what I've just told you, but emphasizes cross-cultural awareness in Guangzhou and looking at business in China, in addition to international negotiations. In Boston, supply chain excellence and logistics for the 21st century, plus what it's like to do business in the United States. We concentrate here on the things that people assume and then compare them with the reality, the cultural reality over there. Finally, in Middleburg, uh, which is part two of the trip to, to Western Europe, part one is in Antwerp, the home campus, and then we go off to a residential facility. Um, we look at international business management, we look at innovation, and we look at uh, global strategic challenges from a European perspective. These are the main uh, subject areas uh, for our program. And you can see from 12 o'clock run to 9 o'clock, they're fairly well split. And indeed, in many regards, these subjects are predetermined by the accreditation bodies. You have to study people management, you have to study economics, you have to study marketing, you have to study whatever, IT for managers, international business. The, the period from 9 to 12 o'clock, in fact, runs for most of the second year of the program, and it earns a full 15 credits, which is 25% of the total credits for the whole MBA. And this is a group project where you're looking at a real business problem or opportunity and developing an analysis of it, developing options for taking that, that condition forward and making a recommendation with appropriate financial evaluations of that project. It's a huge return on investment for, for example, employers uh, sponsoring or supporting you taking a program. But it's, it's also the big opportunity you get to prove that you've moved from an operational to a strategic level of thinking. I'm probably not going to read this out, but it's a, a brief overview of what's in the program and the structure of it. We come together once every month, once every four weeks for approximately four days. We have the three international modules. The conditions of entry into the program, they're there for you to see, and I will avoid trying to say them out loud, okay? Something that is new in recent years and is, is further developing the links between the Antwerp group and the Moscow group. We introduced electives in 2018. Um, we presented a menu of 30 possible subjects. We asked alumni and current students to vote 
on the ones that would happen. We got 220 votes and 170 people participated. These are the subjects that ran. This year we did exactly the same. Five were elected from 23 subjects, 180 people actually turned up uh, to the electives. Neural leadership, very um, contemporary subjects of great interest to, to the people who participated. These two, 2018, 2019, were both held in Antwerp uh, and some of the alumni and current students from Moscow actually attended. But it was clear the next step was going to be that we would run electives in Moscow, which we are doing in September, uh, on the 14th of September. Four subjects have been selected by the participants and alumni from a menu of 25. Now, if you're an alum, you've already heard about this, and you will get reminders to come along, meet your colleagues and former colleagues from Antwerp, and your colleagues from here in, in Moscow, of course. If you're a candidate or thinking of getting a, a deeper flavor of what it's like to be in an MBA class or to talk to alumni uh, in more detail than you can do this evening, you'll be very welcome to come along. Just contact us or contact Oksana or, or any of our colleagues here at IBS. Thank you.